you have no participation, you have no uh, say-so in what's going on in the world. Young people understand this. I mean, they, they know, but they have no say-so. So there's a loss of significance. When you're feeling insignificant, I mean, it's going to eventually bring you down to um, the feeling of hopelessness and helplessness. If our children are committing suicide, if, if it's happening anywhere, I mean, it's, it shows we have to make changes. You know, we yeah. need to make changes. You know, it's a, it's a reflection of, of the times. You know, so that's what we feel. Gathering in Gratitude process is designed to help people be stronger, more creative, connected with their community, and creating their future. By connecting with nature, connecting with gratitude, connecting with themselves, each other, the natural world, a sense of the unknown, and a sense of community. Over the years, we have been working with children, teens, adults, and elders, always a multi-generational ensemble. And we've been working with visual arts and working with sound, with music, with stories, and dance, and, and really all of the expressive arts. In every gathering and gratitude process, inevitably, there is a, a mix of cultures, either people of different cultures that are coming together or the people in the ensemble. They are tapping into their unconscious and they're bringing in teachings from other cultures, practices from other cultures, stories from other cultures. It seems to seep its way into the gathering and gratitude process when people gather with the intention of diving into their essence as it relates to all of the natural world and the spirit of gratitude. It came to my awareness that on the Pine Ridge Indian Reservation in South Dakota, the teenage suicide rate was higher than anywhere in the United States. And over the winter 2014-15, over a couple of months there had been more than 100 suicide attempts by teenagers. So many of the people opened up their hearts and minds and possibilities and reached beyond their imagination to see what can we do to help our teens, to help our culture. And in mid-April, I was speaking with my friend and mentor, Tony Tenfingers, who is the head of the ambulance service in the Pine Ridge Indian Reservation. Tony shared on Facebook about the epidemic of suicides. And when I saw this uh, communication from him, Tony and I started messaging back and forth in Facebook, and then we had a conversation on the telephone, two hours. And I said to him, we have a gathering in gratitude. It's a, it's a strength-building, creative program. It's at the end of June. You're all welcome to come. You're welcome to bring a, a delegation of teens. And he said, okay, we're going. And so on April 15th of 2015, our community started preparing for the arrival and presence of the delegation of Oglala Lakota teens and their mentors. And there's a wonderful woman who came from Arizona representing four tribes. It was amazing. We had a child come from Maine, children from Brattleboro area who came to participate, teenagers from Brattleboro who came to participate, adults from Brattleboro who came to participate, and uh, uh, amazing mentors and teachers who came to co-facilitate. of the trees. We are a reflection.
statue of the stars. We are a reflection of each other. When a young person takes their life, it is also a reflection of us. So please join and help us to do everything we can so that life may continue in a good, creative way for the benefit of the future generations. Encontraremos el